going. So by her, that is ideally from a couple of the white flowered, big, big white flowered Chinese lilies, Lilium longiflorum and Lilium brownii. But also some of the other species like this one here um, are used, and this is Lilium lancifolium. And it's a wonderful yin tonic. The bulb is used. Um, you can even use it as a food. It's used, you know, for a really great tasty vegetable. And it's a wonderful yin tonic that tonifies the lung and heart yin. So to start with the lungs, which is probably an easier thing to do, um, it's good for helping with uh, dry coughs. I use it for dry coughs a lot and coughs where there's yellow scanty or green scanty phlegm. And, um, and then I also use it, it it's, it's a great herb too for heart yin deficiency issues and heart yin deficient heat. So it's great for insomnia where somebody's waking up repeatedly, um, having trouble sleeping or they're having problems with agitation or restlessness. And um, I also use it for treating, treating emotional issues related to possibly sexual abuse, fear of intimacy, um, fear of vulnerability. Um, there's an energy to it that relates in Chinese medicine to the heart. It's very much a, a, a heart plant, a fire element plant. And in a five element standpoint, that connects really to the sexual function. And it's interesting too because this plant works so much on the heart chakra, on the chest, and the you know the lungs and the heart, the organs there in the chest. And this thoracic cavity is a reflex area, kind of a mirror image of the pelvic cavity. And the pelvic cavity, of course, is where the reproductive organs are. So it's not surprising that Native Americans actually ended up using the native lilies, some of the native lilies in certain parts of the country. They would use that to also treat reproductive organ masses. Hmm. And if you think also about sort of the psychological connection with what lilies represent, lilies in our culture are especially the white lilies, are about purity and innocence and sort of restoring that purity to somebody and restoring an innocence and also about peace and calm. So it's kind of interesting that it reflects that usage that the Chinese have and it also reflects this idea that I was talking about of restoring somebody's, let's say, comfort with their sexuality and with being able to be intimate with somebody um, because it restores sort of this purity or innocence and trust to people. Ah. Uh -huh. So. Summation, really quick, 10 seconds. Um, yeah, and it's a great herb. I, I, it's a neutral, it's not a neutral herb, it's a cooling herb, but it's it's very easy and easily tolerated. Very, you, you know, good for people to handle. Thank you very much, Robert. All right.